Al-Jazeera in Arabic doesn't know even how to spell the word objectivity. They are totally biased against Israel, against the West, against America, because they are the mouthpiece of the Muslim Brotherhood. No doubt. This is Al Jazeera. The English version of Al Jazeera is much more professional, it means much more balanced, and the, the workers and the employees there are uh, people who formerly were working for Sky and, 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 and CNN and CBS and, and all the uh, American and English speaking uh, other media, and they are more or less professionals. So Al Jazeera in English is not so biased against Israel, against America, against the West, against Westernism. While the Arabic Al Jazeera, especially the news channel, is totally governed and run by activists of the Muslim Brotherhood. Um, even the, the guy who uh, interviewed me, Jamal Rayyan, was an activist of the Muslim Brotherhood in Jordan until he was expelled because Jordan expels the Muslim Brotherhood or these activists uh, rather than uh, li living with them. So, uh, and many others in, the, in Al Jazeera were and still are uh, sympathizers of the Muslim Brotherhood. And of course, Sheikh Yusuf Al Qaradawi, who is the speaker of the Muslim Brotherhood, has every week uh, like an hour to spread his incitement against Israel, against America, against the West, against everything which we believe in, in the name of freedom of speech. Al Jazeera uses all kinds of tricks. They use language which is totally biased against Israel. Their attitude to Israeli interviewees is usually very negative. Uh, they interfere in what they say. They don't let give them enough time. They ask um, nasty questions, aggressive questions, biased questions. With your, with your permission, I just want to correct one thing that you said. It's not Mark Regev who says they're hiding behind civilians. Jackie, your correspondent on the ground in Gaza, just said it. She said she saw them firing she a rocket out of the middle of a, uh, the city of Gaza. In other words, they are exploiting the civilian population of Gaza she as did, a To be human fair, shield. she didn't actually we say they were hiding it? behind civilians. She admitted trying... that they had been launched from, from the centre of Gaza. She didn't say that there were civilians around there. She wouldn't know that. The middle she's of a city, actually, the middle of, a, the middle of an the urban city. area. Uh, they do have their agenda, and they have to work according to the agenda which is imposed on them at least partially, by the, by the Emir of Qatar, who owns them and uh, operates them. Are you covering the news or do you have an agenda? What's wrong with that? If there is an agenda, it's a very good agenda. This way, I think uh, Al Jazeera can uh, continue as long as they don't report about Qatar and the Gulf. They want to divert the looks of the Arab world, the impoverished Arab world, uh, from their wealth in the Gulf to see what happens only in Israel and in other places. So the Arabs do not come to them, to the Emirates in the Gulf, and demand to share the oil revenues with other Arabs. As they call, they say in Arabic, Naft al-Arab lil-Arab, means the oil of the Arabs to the Arabs, not only to the sheikhs of the uh, uh, Gulf Emirates. So since... Uh, uh, the Gulf Emirates, uh, headed by Qatar, do not want that the Arab world will see the wealth and the lucrative uh, houses and skyscrapers. They never 
uh, show anything about Qatar. Uh, uh, they would rather show miserable places in Palestine or in other places rather than showing what happens in Qatar. I think Americans are going to be shocked about a few things here. That there are no taxes, that electricity is free, health care is free, education is free. Sounds like a paradise. Well, I welcome you in this paradise. I'm Sami Zaydan. You're watching Al Jazeera live from Doha.